We're going to talk about this week's featured product here from Downstream Outdoors. As you know, we've talked about ways that you can help um, us continue to do our thing here and do our videos and stuff like that. Obvious, like, share, comment. Please like, share, comment, share it with anybody you think might like the show. Next, you can check out all of our Downstream Outdoors products. This week's featured product is the Beach Quarter Farms Lip Balms. They come in four flavors. They come in vanilla, they come in lemongrass, they come in tangerine, and they come in original with no added flavor. We use only organic natural ingredients including our own beeswax and um, all natural essential oils for the flavoring in the lip balms. Um, you can pick up these pro fine products either by contacting us directly and having them shipped out to you or you can check out Little Rock's Natural Herb Shop in McKee or you can check out Saxton Surplus over on Saxton, right, over in Saxton right along Route 26 to check out any of these fine products. Hello everybody, welcome to today's episode of Downstream Outdoors. Today on Downstream Outdoors, we're back into the fishing. We're in Erie, um, we're actually fishing um, Elk Creek this time, and this is the first time I've been to Elk Creek, really myself, um, in a number of years. Aaron and I checked it out a couple years ago, and we didn't really find it agreeable, but everybody kept telling us, go back, go back, go back. And uh, so we talked to some locals and we found some places that we could go look and then we once we were there we talked to even more locals and we found some holes. We found a hole back in, away from the road, and we were in for a treat. Let's check it out.
They're running away from our line. Yeah, I've hit a couple of them with my lure. I'm not ready to give up completely on this hole though. I feel like it's got a lot of potential. I got him by the tail though. Which makes for an interesting fight because I've hooked fish by the tail before. Yeah, he's decent. Just relax, just be patient with me. Let me fight him. Yeah, I'm going to be fighting for a minute. I'm going to let him wear himself down a little bit. Oh, I know I can. No, I'm talking about stuff. Oh, yeah, if she wanted to, she could walk out closer. I don't want him to jump. Just let him wear himself out underneath the water like that, moving around. Yeah, I do. I have him by the tail. Yeah, I see, but I don't want him to, I don't want him to spin and slip off. I, I, I have him in the meat of the tail, right ahead of the, the fin itself. Never expected to snag him, but hey. A lot of weight there. He's wanting to bury himself down there on the bottom. Come on, pull up a little bit, boy. There we go. Come on. Just wait. He's, he's got a lot of energy left in him. Where's the pro cam? You got it on. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're recording right now. He's wanting to run. He's running. He's trying to get that, uh, he's, yeah, he's trying to get up underneath that the lip there. You ready? I'm going to pull him right back to you. You ready to scoop him? Whoop. Go. Get him. Ah! Well, everybody, there it was. Um, you know, I saw you saw I had one in the net, and it flipped out. Ultimately, I had had to release that one anyway. That one was considered what was called a foul hook. He wasn't even actually hooked in the jaw. He was hooked on the body. Um, complete action, and I don't even know how that happened. Um, we, uh, you know, we, I, like I said, I would have ended up having to release that one anyway. But we just happened to find this little hole down in there. And, uh, you know, there, there was probably 100 fish or more down in there. And we didn't really have any competition for that hole, and we ended up having a great day. We actually have more footage from this hole on next week's episode. 
because we just ran out of time this week. Just plain and simple, ran out of time. I didn't want to take up a half an hour show just on this one hole, but we're going to end up doing a two-parter anyway out of this one hole because of how much fun we had. And until next time, keep your line wet and out of the trees.